Okay, let me just tell you how I made it. There are alternatives online. I looked it up and it's kind of like the 10 minute pot holder, I think it's something like that. And you can do it, instead of these triangle shapes, you can do it making square shapes, like a four by four mm. with squares. So there's two or three ways of doing it, but my originals last year that I made were um, with the triangles, so I just stuck to that. Okay, so what you've got are two, You've actually got three coordinating fabrics, I think, if you want. The, this is the quilt sandwich part, and I thought if we're quilters, we could put our sandwich together and quilt it. And the, remembering that the back will be what you see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But, I mean, you don't have to, but th that's it. We're this is what we're, no, this is what we're seeing in here. Yeah. Okay. Yours is turned gotcha. inside out. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so, and actually, if you're short on fabric, the back is the important part. This could just be another color or whatever. I just made it in 10 inch square, or nine inch squares, so I put it like that. And because I had already a whole pile of things I was going to make pot holders out of, I had already rounded corners. And I kind of like that because I yeah. get less bulk at the corners. Yeah, but good it's idea. an individual. The way I first learned was to make nine by nine squares of everything. Okay. But if you're interested, um, well, you all can round the corners. Mm -hmm. You just, you know, yeah. take their square and round the corners and make yourself a little template. Great idea, though. And I don't think there's any problem because when you sew around the edges, you're still catching enough on each edge that you're fine. Makes sense. Okay, so you put it like this. You make your sandwich. Then you take one of your fabrics and you've got it folded in half like that. And you try to make it so it goes in a corner so you've got your... It just makes sense. You've got your straight line on towards the inside. These are your unfinished edges. So you put one, and then you take and an opposite then color. Then you want to go a different color. An opposite color. Go okay. like that. Line them up. You want to do an opposite color. See, I have to make sure it goes like that. Don't worry about putting it on top. It's not supposed to overlap there. Oh yeah. Wait, okay, I've done something wrong. No, nope. here we go. Oh, this goes on top Oop, this of way, this. this way. There. No, no, no. Yes. Yep. Right. Yep. There we That's go. Right. Yep. You have to play with it. If you're like me, I'm challenged. <laughs> A little challenge. Now, the last one is the most challenging of all. Just flop it on, and then you got to make it look right. See, it doesn't look right. So all you do is lift up, flip it under. Do it any way you like so you make it look right. That's my method. It's the other one. It's the other one. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I gotta flip the other one. No. Oh, I okay. screwed you up. Did you screw me up? Okay, start again. <laughs> Some demonstrator. That's good. Okay. There we go. There we go. Maybe I haven't got this. And then that other little and then you put point. The okay, start out. And then you tuck it underneath here. This goes this one underneath. Goes the under tiny one. Here. Yeah. See what you do? You flip it around until it works. Until yeah. it works. <laughs> Just like a box. This one has to oh. okay. this Now, my recommendation is to really pin it quite well this goes because on. the idea is you're going to sew a good mm -hmm. solid right. quarter of an it's inch or more good. around the whole thing. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, you haven't got yeah. a piece. Yeah, like this. this and this, you want to be really sure that it catches. So whatever you need to do, okay. if you want to make it a little this bit wider under. and then no, trim it down later to for, so for less bulk, uh, pinking shears edge to it wouldn't hurt. I searched mm -hmm. these first <laughs> ones I made it takes oh, what do you think of that? Was that this. It works good? Or, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's shiny. Did you get it? Okay. I got it figured out. John, one other thing is that the first um, one this stuff has, has a definite. Okay. Um, right and wrong. Good idea. Yeah, I can't remember. Okay. I never I can it remember. I looked it up. No. The, I did the same thing as you did. Do you guys want this to. This goes underneath here. Sorry. I just wait a sec because this is kind underneath of important. Underneath there and then on top. Yourself. There you go. You're probably. <laughs> Don't move it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move it. Get it right open. <laughs> That's why I brought pins. Now I need another pin. Did I put the pins away? You know, I've done smaller versions of this too for uh, coasters. So that would be a cute together. I never thought of going big, but it would yeah, be cute you together. If you pins, then you can have one pin to save your life. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know why I do my pins so well. I know. 
So the idea is you go around and you're just really watching that you get those edges. Oh, there's the pins there. Help yourselves. Now, I'm then curious. Then tell about the reflector. You don't have any binding on no. this. No, because you're going to turn it all inside out. Huh? Look at See, this is the way I would sew around, right? Yeah. Okay, now what we do is. Oh. Oh. oh, my oh God. I have to go away somewhere. <laughs> Isn't this getting better and better, Sandy? Oh, this is great. <laughs> so oh, this get... is so fun for the hostess you. gift. or And you don't even have to put a hang on to make it a pot holder. You want to... You can use it for a, a trivet kind of thing. Right, on the table. right. Christmas where you need those hot pots on the table. Yeah. It's darling. Now, we have to go back and talk about the insulbrite. Yes, this is important. Yes, yes this it is, is. A little bit important. The insulbrite, that stuff that looks like the processed the sh the shiny side, stuff, the shiny yeah. side, that's where the heat stops. So if you have it on the upside. Oh, which I do. Yeah, which is, that's um, probably the best way to do it. Oh, oh, okay. Are, oh, okay. So you're Think having it your hands okay. on the right side. Okay. So that so this it's is stopping correct. the heat from mm -hmm. going through onto your table. Like okay. Table. Okay. I don't want the, the, the table. Which is the heat okay. by that, that shiny side okay. stuff. Okay. So you want it. What I used uh, to do is I used two <laughs> layers of pencil <laughs> black <laughs> before. Okay. They recommend yeah, when true. you read about it, they recommend that you use insulin bright with a warm and natural, a pad of warm and natural as well. If you want to stop condensation from going through, so yeah, you, in other sure. words, if you only make it with the one layer, which is what I do, because I don't really need a big fat kind of package right. here, and I'm not using it for really hot pots or anything like that. I'm more or less using it as a coaster under right. casserole. Okay. okay. But if you wanted to, you put the second layer and you put that against the. T uh, I think you put that in front. I'm thinking it absorbs the moisture. Okay. Then. Okay. The heat is resistant. It's not foolproof, but it's resistant. Okay. And you're off to the races. Very good. Fantastic. Awesome. This is so cute.